Hi, good morning. I'm here with a little review. I got my paper cutter. <laughs> a new sibling for my, I don't know how many paper cutters, but you know, they all, they all cut cricket. <laughs> That's my excuse. However, today, and I took it out and I tried it out. Usually I take it out with you and everything, but yesterday I had to cut so much from my store and I figured, you know what? It's actually a good time to try this out. And I will tell you the comparison to this one too, because there are a couple of things that I noticed while cutting so much yesterday for my store, like I said. So I have this one and it's a good one. You know, I ordered another one in the same size, basically just, I wanted to try out. First I was going for a second one like this, but I wanted to try out another one. I need one in my store, my store, my living room, <laughs> and one in my crafting room. So, you know, now I have two and they are different and they are different, <laughs> just so you know. So this one is from Tim Holt. Yeah. <laughs> I had to order it from Simon Says Stamp because I liked it more that they, I believe I saw two different handles or something on this small one. And I really like this because I need something good for my hands. This one is what is it eh, almost nine inches all in all you know and 11 and a half all in all but the last thing here i would say it's six and a quarter the last the black one it says six but you know you could go six and a quarter if needed and this one is eight and a half i think eight huh? eight and three quarters so you could cut paper eight and three quarters you could still fit in here and what i love about it it has this plastic here so if i put paper if i want to cut something small i i'm having a hard time seeing here you know if i just if i don't go by the measurements but i i go by whatever line i made or whatever and here it's much better i can see better and it does cut you know, pretty good on the end of the blade. It cuts really good, as you can see. In the We Are Memory Keepers, they don't have it. It's just flat here, you know. So I cannot, I can if I put it in here and, you know, I line it up on the lines, but it's much more work. So here I can just put it here and have it done. Then one thing that I really don't need, <laughs> but it's on there and not on here, would be this card measurements i guess three by five so you could just you know figure out where where to go right away or whatever i, I don't need this I, I don't have this is for card makers i would say can you see it there is like this little measurements everywhere now <clears throat> that's a plus to me what's a minus is it's rounded kind of it goes down here for you looking from the top it's different than when i would look this is what you would say when you look straight when you sit in front of it so the measurements are not very good visible to me they are still visible but if i sit here on my chair in my crafting room and have it here it's in front of me i'm having a hard time seeing what is what you know, is it a two or a three? Of course, I kind of know what it is, but still, it would be a hard time for me to figure out where is what. So here on the bottom, I would measure. I guess maybe that's why it's made like this, but mostly if I, if I work, I push it here. So I push it here and I have it here. So that's something that I'm not really fond of. But then again, plus for this one, here you could see it very good basically everything is straight but um here it's it's different here what i like is that this plastic thing is not going like this like here if i cut something less than two i have a hard time taking it out of here it just gets stuck and here there are different you know if i cut two right here i can still pull it out here right away right or on the bottom or in the middle <laughs> but here i have to open this up and shake it sometimes you know if it's hard for me to cut also if i want to put something in and like cut it at let's say one here it's under the plastic so i kind of have to figure out where it goes and here you can just 
there it is the one right so you can hold here but you can still move the paper here you cannot do it on this one so i like this guard here better i must say okay there is oh what i did I'm, I'm going like i like i dislike i like i must say both blades are perfect you know like to me they cut really really good so blades are good this one i've had for a long time and um the blade is not dull the only thing what happens is if i cut a lot and like i said for my store i cut a lot so maybe you don't even cut that much in a year like i cut in a month you know so i cut a lot a lot and sometimes the blade here it gets kind of looks dirty so it won't cut it will rip paper so just put some alcohol on a swab and i, I clean this one so it's actually pretty good the blade did not get dull or anything i've cut so much so <coughs> excuse me there's that another thing and it doesn't bug me in my living room because my table is lower but here i notice it's up higher you know so you're kind of <laughs> you have i don't know if you have to get used to it or what but this one is is up higher it's one and a half inches where this one is just an inch high so it's kind of if you're a small person <laughs> then i don't know it's even worse if you are smaller than me you can't see this at all <laughs> because it's up higher too and then it goes down like this but um all in all i liked how it cut what um what was worse about this one guard than this this one kind of goes up here you know it curves up and this one it goes down so if i'm cutting a lot and i cut a lot of coffee dyed paper and i don't know if i can show you oh i do have a coffee dyed piece here so i do not iron my coffee dyed paper or anything and you see it gets stuck i try to push it in and it gets stuck i push it in here it goes right away so i don't look at it when i cut a hundred pieces of paper i'm not gonna you know it's kind of hard to push them all in one by one by one here i i'm used to just you know if i push it will go here if i push it will get stuck somewhere because the paper is not flat with the flat paper it's probably not a problem yep with the flat piece it's it's different maybe it will sometimes get stuck but not like that but with my coffee dyed paper that is not ironed it gets stuck somewhere even the smaller pieces and here it just it just doesn't so this is something to consider of course it always depends on how much you cut now i cut i don't want to say extreme but compared to a normal crafter i cut a lot <laughs> i cut every day almost i have to cut papers you know so to me little things i have to consider i'm not quite sure yet if which one i will keep for the i think i think this one will go in my store <laughs> because it's just easier to put in and see where i am and this one is not going to be used as much because it goes in my crafting room so i use it daily probably but for a piece or two of papers so i would say this would say here in this room and this would go for a lot of cutting so if you have a lot a lot of cutting to do then i would say that we are memory keepers is easier just because you can see better and then you can push in better but it only goes for bigger pieces i cut mostly my pieces are either three by four you know or five and a half by four and a half or whatever it's always just you know smaller ones if you have like oh bigger ones i wanted to say if you cut a lot of small pieces like one inch then i would definitely get this one or even two inch it's harder here but i don't cut for my store i um i don't know if i ever cut that little i don't know i can't even remember mostly it's always over three so more than three inches so here i can hold it and i have no problem so i'm guessing that this one is going to go for my store just because for a lot of cutting i find it easier to do also i believe this one was five dollars five to ten dollars more expensive 
and um, I think it was even a sale or maybe not on this one and it was still more expensive so this one is definitely cheaper on Amazon cheaper I think I have a link down in my favorite things I do not know anymore I, I apologize I don't update this I don't have time for anything right now <laughs> so yeah the handle here the handle it goes all the way in and it's kind of a slim one you know so you just hold here and do this handle is much bigger it fits in my whole hand you see it's like this and this one is more like for <laughs> for your fingers so if you have a preference i wanted to try out this handle i figured you know i can hold on better because sometimes with my fiber my fingers don't work as good so i want to hold on better let me see yeah it's kind of the same this one is maybe because it's new it's probably because it's new it's a little harder to push right now than this one i would say but um all in all they are both good they are both good here you can see the metal piece here you can't see anything it's all covered up it's all plastic of course you know and um this waist eh, almost the same like that kind of even though it's bigger so i don't know what waste that much however like both i really i'm okay like i said i wanted to buy a second one <laughs> because i like it i really really do like it except for this i can't hold it here but other than that i like it both of them none of them have any guard here like any closure for the blade so the blade with both of them is open and if you shake it or if you move it wrong or if you forget it a little bit well if you put it onto something and it takes out the blade like me in my living room sometimes i move it on the sofa and if there's a pillow or anything the blade might come up and it's very very sharp so be careful i always try to double check so nobody cuts themselves and this is the same there is no first i thought oh look they got this you know i thought this was like to close it up but it was not the blade itself does not ah it does if i shake it it comes out <laughs> if i put it onto a pillow or something you know just like on not a flat surface it's gonna come out too so be careful with that this one you can hold here by the way i just i just noticed but nobody's gonna do that why is this here why when this is here why couldn't they just do it straight to here and have it a little longer that's my question or at least on the bottom they could have you know just put the measurement farther out <laughs> because there is stuff here <laughs> you know i'm i'm thinking you should put this here what do we have we have more than an extra inch here so this could be seven and a quarter <laughs> you can make yourself a little mark if you're always cutting seven seven inches <laughs> you could put yourself a little mark here and then cut your seven inches this one ends which is good <laughs> and this one has extra piece that is not used we crafters want to use all of the extra space okay tim holtz let us use all of the extra space just to just put some numbers on here so we know <laughs> so i understand you wanted this design that it flows and everything but here on the bottom give us numbers we want numbers <laughs> other than that like i said cutting perfect you can cut any size slivers of anything you know it's just it cuts perfect there's nothing to say it cuts perfect in the back of the blade it cuts perfect in the middle of the blade at the beginning of the blade you know you can just cut and cut it will it will be cutting so that's this one let me put this set real quick so i can cut with this one with this one like on the bottom of the blade you might have some problems if you don't remember here if i push it all the way down on the guard then it will not cut my bottom piece because the blade ends you know on this one the blade is longer than the last thing that you can push it on you know and here you can basically push the paper down but there's no more blade <laughs> you see there is no more blade so it will rip your paper be careful you have to stop 
I don't know where where do you have to stop yeah you have to you have to always look where this one I mean this part of the blade I guess but it makes us look and we sometimes don't look and sometimes we just push because we're crafters we got no time we just have to stick something in and cut it right but other than that it does cut everywhere the only other thing I noticed with this one it's like I said, I cut a lot, right? So I push paper in, I cut, I open, I push another in, I cut, I open. A lot of times this blade goes back down just a little bit. It's not much, but it's enough for me. Do I have a longer piece of paper here? Oh, only kite stuck. It's enough for me to not to have it straight anymore. You know, then I have to push the blade up a little bit. And I don't know why it happens. Right now it doesn't happen. See, I push it up, it stays in there. But sometimes it does happen, you know. So I don't know how it's going to go with the Tim Holtz. I think it's going to be just the same. So you have to double check if you cut a lot. This is just for those people who do cut a lot. You know, a lot, a lot. By a lot, I mean a lot. <laughs> hundred. A hundred. Okay, so there they are, both of them. Kind of didn't plan to, but did a comparison completely. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Like I said, more expensive, cheaper, cuts the same, good, very good cuts. The difference are measurements, like can't really see here, but you know, I to me, it doesn't really matter too much if I don't cut too much. I could see here on the bottom, so that's a plus here's. Um, on the bottom on this one there are centimeters and on top there are inches you know so if you work in centimeters you basically always um forced to put your paper down here but then how do you put it straight then you have to line it up with the lines and it's just too much work for me here if it was here the same you could just you know put it here because there is a guard going here but they have both centimeters and inches on top centimeters and inches on bottom which i like you know not that i work too much with centimeters oh i've lived here for almost seven seven years now and i i'm starting to like having trouble with centimeters <laughs> not that i forget them but my brain if i watch a video and they say five centimeters my brain cuts it at five inches <laughs> so there's that okay so yeah like i said both are good this is cheaper if you on a budget get this one if you're not on a budget just whatever looks better to you because they will always cut the same plus you know figure out if you cut a lot of little pieces or if you cut a lot of big pieces you know so there's that ta -da! I don't know how many I have because some of my cutters are in the closet. <laughs> so I, I can't really tell. But I have a few. I have this one as well, which is not a guillotine. And I swear to God, this thing cuts cricket. I was measuring everything exactly and I cut it off and I folded it. And one side was wider than the other side. And I don't know how this happens, but it happens all the time. I prefer guillotines. I must say for the for the little things they cut really really good but you have to push on the guard right if you don't push on the guard while you cut there will be no good <laughs> you always have to push on the guard i have a big guillotine i showed it here too it's a very good thing but um for exact cuts i cannot use it because you know it's too big and then i have to hold the paper and everything but these i f i find they do cut very good very very good all right so there is that i think i said everything if i forgot something i did uh thank you so much for watching i hope i could help you out if you're looking for one <laughs> you know maybe i i couldn't even say right now which one if i only had to pick one which one i would pick because i kind of like them both i really do i can't say nothing bad you know i told you the plus and the the cons from this but actually they are both they are both doing their job. So if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know. Do you have one of them? Do you have both of them? <laughs> and which one you prefer, you know? Other than that, just stay healthy and happy. And I hope you're crafting and enjoying the day. See you soon. Bye-bye.